Question number 2. Given that 3x plus 4 over x minus 2 into 2x plus 1 whole square is similar to a over x minus 2 plus b over 2x plus 1 plus c over 2x plus 1 whole square. Find the values of constants a, b and c. So first part is uh, uh, can be solved by using partial fraction, okay, partial fraction method. Let's see how to solve it. Uh, let me write the question first here. So 3x plus 4 over x minus 2 into 2x plus 1 whole square is uh, similar to a over x minus 2 plus b over 2x plus 1 plus c over 2x plus 1 whole square. So, how to solve this question? We will multiply by this uh, denominator, okay? Every term, multiply every term by this number, okay? This denominator. So, multiply by x minus 2 into 2x plus 1 whole square, every term, okay? So, you will get rid of this denominator from uh, the left side. So, it will be equals to 3x plus 4 is equals to a into when you multiply this number by this x minus 2 will be cancelled out it left with 2x plus 1 whole square here one power will be cancelled with this number uh, 2x plus 1 so b will left with x minus 2 and 2x plus 1 because 2x plus 1 is cancelled with this power with c the whole denominator will cancel with this one okay so c left with x minus 2 now uh, very easy method now. What we will do, uh, look at this denominator, okay. Substitute this denominator equals to 0. You will get the answer of one uh, unknown A, B or C. Let's see. Uh, usually we will get here uh, A in this case, okay. So, substitute x minus 2 equals to 0 implies that x equals to 2. So, 3 into 2 plus 4 is equals to a into 2 into 2 plus 1 whole square. The next number will be 0 because x minus 2 is 0. It is multiplying and everything becomes 0. x minus 2 is here. x minus 2 you are, you are substituting as 0. So, it, the next number is also 0. So, it is 4 plus 1, 5. Square of 5 is 25. So, 25a is equals to 3 multiplied to 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. And we get the answer for A. This is, you, uh, 25 is dividing over there. And if you simplify, it will get, you will get the answer 2 or 5 for sure. You are dividing by 5, okay. So, A is 2 or 5. After getting A, now uh, we can substitute the next denominator as 0. 2x plus 1 as 0. Substitute, substitute uh, 2x plus 1 equals to 0 implies that value of x equals to minus 1 by 2. Okay. Now, uh, you will replace x with uh, negative 1 over 2. So, it is 3 into negative 1 over 2 plus 4 is equals to because you are substituting 2x plus 1 equals to 0. So, first number will be 0 and the second is 0 because 2x plus 1 is multiplying over there. So, you can write it directly 0 plus 0. These two numbers are 0. Okay. And the last one will be plus c into negative 1 over 2 minus 2 because you are substituting x equals to minus 1 by 2. Solving, we get the answer for uh, coefficient of c is negative 5 over 2 c. And this is equals to negative 3 over 2 plus 4. So it is 8, 8 minus 3, 5. So it will be 5 over 2 for sure. Uh, clearly, it is seen 5 over 2 will be cancelled out and here is negative 1. So C will be equals to negative 1. Now we got the answer for C. We will use uh, equating coefficient method to find the uh, value of b because uh, if you look here when you multiply this by this you get 2x square and you will get the coefficient of b uh, x square as 2bx square okay no need to explain all 
from here coefficient of x square will be uh, this one because once you expand it you get 4x square so you will get here 4a x square okay so coefficient of x square is 4a and 2b uh, here coefficient of x square is 0 uh, 0x square okay coefficient of x square now let's see equating coefficient coefficients coefficient of x square uh, in equation number one you know that coefficient of x square uh, in this equation is 2b and 4a you can write as 4a plus 2b and coefficient of x square here on the left side is 0 so you can write as 4a plus 2b equals to 0 now substitute the value of a that is 2 over 5 plus 2b equals to 0 in the next step Uh, 8 over 5 goes to the right side so 2b is equals to negative 8 over 5 and b equals to negative 4 over 5 therefore a is you know 2 over 5 c is negative 1 okay you can write all the answers together 2 over 5 b is negative 4 over 5 and c is negative 1 so this is the answer for the first part i hope you understand first part first part is easier okay but see integral 3x plus 4 over x minus 2 into 2x plus 1 whole square dx and uh, limit is 7 to 12 we need to find this value okay so we know that this is equals to a over f minus 2 plus b over 2x plus 1 plus c over 2x plus 1 whole square dx use the values of a b and c Seven to twelve. A is two over five, so you can write as two over five into x minus two. Okay, you can uh, keep uh, this two over five is dividing by x minus two, so x minus two will multiply by five plus b. So it is minus four over five into two x plus one, and c is minus one, so it will be minus one over into two x plus one whole square dx. You can apply this integral with each of them uh, inside the bracket, okay? So you can write as 2 over 5 into 1 over x minus 2 dx and the next one will be minus 4 over 5 keep outside and apply the integral. It will be 1 over 2x plus 1 dx and the last one uh, you have to keep uh, this as a numerator, okay? Make a numerator. So it will be minus 1 outside and you can write as 2x plus 1 whole square uh, this will be negative dx uh, here if you remember the formula uh, let me write a formula for you there are actually there are two formula very important in integration okay one is integral of if there is a function a derivative here of the denominator like a function is there in the denominator and numerator is its derivative okay we will take the log of the denominator uh, actually this is very important formula okay log of f of x so you know this is function what is the derivative of the denominator is 1 so this is the derivative okay so we will take the log of denominator but if you notice that the here denominator is 2x plus 1 but in numerator there is not a derivative so what you will do you will make here derivative by multiplying 2 so you can make as 2 here and divide by 2 so multiply by 2 you will get here 10 4 over 10 okay now it is exactly this one is function and 
this one is its derivative okay then you will take the log of the denominator and the, there is another formula mm. if you have a function here and function power is n and uh, under the power is function and then there is a derivative function is multiplying here what you will do we will add the power of the function by 1 okay n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c but because it is a definite integral therefore we will not write uh, c in this case so it is 7 to 12 7 to 12 7 to 12 is the limit now if you notice here if you take the derivative of this function 2x plus 1 uh, this one is 2x plus 1 derivative of this function is 2 so you will multiply by 2 okay and divide by 2 here I hope you understand this step now this is a function and this 2 is the derivative of this function okay therefore we will apply uh, this formula here okay in the uh, in the last part that's why I made uh, this denominator as numerator now we will simplify uh, write 2 over 5 as is apply the formula here here is a function and derivative we will apply the first rule this one uh, take the log of the denominator so it will be log x minus 2 so you can simplify this one 4 over 10 means 2 over uh, 2 or 5 again because 4 and 10 can be cancelled with each other simplified form is 2 over 5 and again we will apply the same formula uh, log of the denominator log of the denominator so it will be 2x plus 1 and the last one we will apply the second rule this one uh, because here is a function and um, our derivative is multiplying here so keep 1 over 2 as is and uh, increase the power by 1 so 2x plus 1 power minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1 and divide by minus 1 and apply the limit here limit is 7 to 12 Here, uh, you know, in these two, uh, 2 over 5 is common, okay, 2 over 5 is common, better you write outside of the bracket, 2 over 5 is common between them, so we can write as log x minus 2 minus log 2x plus 1, okay, and this minus 1 will make it minus plus, okay, plus 1 over 2, and you can write uh, this uh, minus 1 as uh, in the denominator like 2x plus 1 okay so we can write this one as 1 over 2 into 2x plus 1 and apply the limit for whole function so it will be 12 here and 7 okay now we know that these two logs uh, between them it, there is minus so we will divide them keep 2 over 5 outside and here you can write as uh, log of x minus 2 divided by 2x plus 1 okay and then plus 1 over 2 into 2x plus 1 and apply the limit so it is uh, from 7 to 12 now we will use this value 12 here okay so 2 over 5 log of 12 minus 2 is 10 12 multiplied 2 is 24 plus 1 25 plus 1 over 2 multiplied 12 24 24 plus 1 25 25 multiplied 2 50 so it will be 1 over 50 okay we will get this answer once you replace 12 with x here okay then we will put minus of formula then use 7 as x so it will be 2 over 5 log of 7 minus 2 is 5 and 7 multiplied to 14 14 plus 1 15 so it will be 5 over 15 now replace 7 here 7 multiplied to 14 14 plus 1 uh, 15 15 multiplied to 30 so it will be plus 1 over 30 now expand the brackets So first value is 2 over 5 log of, sorry, uh, you can better use simplify this one, okay. So it will be 2 and here 5. 
you can simplify this one it is 1 and this one is 3 so 2 over 5 log 2 over 5 2 over 5 plus 1 over 50 then apply minus there 2 over 5 log of 1 over 3 minus 1 over 30 okay we will apply minus inside the bracket here in the last step okay so 2 over 5 1 over 3 minus 1 over 30 that's it now you can use calculator to solve these two fractions and here uh, 2 over 5 is common 2 over 5 is common and take log of 2 over 5 uh, you can use bracket here minus log 1 over 3 after solving this you get the answer minus 1 over 75 solve these two brackets 1 over 50 minus 1 over 30 it is minus 1 over 75 here we will apply the law of logarithm uh, because two logs between them there is minus so we will divide the numbers so we can write as 2 over 5 log 2 over 5 divided by 1 over 3 minus 1 over 75 okay then simplify these two we know that this 3 will multiply over here so 2 over 5 log of 6 over 5 minus 1 over 75 so this is the answer for second part and question number 2 is done again if you have any question please write in the comment box thank you